post on traditional versus non-traditional holidays. And I don't know about you, but mostly by choice, most of my holidays have been very non-traditional, uh, mostly since I left my family home in my youth. And it's interesting to note that COVID isolation brought about many social and emotional changes in our society, right? And so for many of us, the lockdown actually allowed us to explore non-traditional holiday gatherings. So I'm just curious and I'd like to pose the question, what do the holidays look like for you this year? Are you in a situation where you can't be around the loved ones that you would want to be around or you're missing somebody? Um, perhaps you're newly separated, divorced or widowed. Um, or maybe you're wanting to heed that inner hermit of yours that just dreads gatherings altogether. And we might be all too familiar with the effects of media on the holidays also and all these these images and commercials of the ideal family gatherings and waking up on your celebrated holiday morning and having people to share that with. Um, maybe you are on your own this season and you might be wanting to explore some different options for how you can celebrate the holidays in a way that brings you the same amount of joy. And here is my short list of suggestions if you haven't already explored some. Like consider going on a movie date with yourself alone. It's, it's very liberating. You can choose any movie you want to. You can get one of those big things of popcorn that you can refill. Or maybe having a bundled up picnic with a really good friend on a beach or some unconventional place. Um, also consider writing a letter to yourself to reflect on the ups and the downs of the year and really chronicling the highlights and giving thanks for the fantastic things in your life. You might also consider trading in your traditional Christmas tree if you celebrate Christmas um, and decorate something else in your uh, environment. You might want to take a long drive to a new hike that you've never explored before. Or you might want to plan a last minute tropical vacation to Hawaii or someplace warm. Also consider maybe barbecuing outside, doing something just completely out of the norm, even if it's snowing outside or booking a holiday spa treatment. Um, and you could also choose to like turn up your favorite tunes and do a holiday spring cleaning. Also consider volunteering at a local food shelter. This is one of my all time favorites, especially if I'm feeling lonely during the holidays. There's nothing like the bustling of a shelter kitchen and you're really, really being um, focused in on other people's needs and, and people that maybe have less than, than I do that really helps pull me out of whatever situation, whatever perceived lack I'm experiencing. And if you do find yourself gathering with friends or family and you're going to be cooking a traditional meal, consider some healthier options. I have to plug this because I'm a health coach. Um, there are so many wonderful natural flavors with the traditional turkey, ham, um, uh, sweet potatoes, all of those can be embellished with um, healthy oils like olive oils or avocado oils and just natural herb seasonings and maybe just add lighter version of the gravy. You might also find that after all the planning and scheduling and cooking and everything, somebody gets COVID at the last minute and the whole event needs to be canceled. And here is an opportunity for a mindful practice of accepting the actual. Um, that is that the actual event in itself can be perfect just as it is whenever it's not compared to an expectation. So I'm going to offer this. Consider letting go of the planned holidays and be open to the experience that awaits you. Notice that when you're planning, are you allowing space for the unforeseen gifts of the actual? Do we sometimes get lost in nostalgia and attachment to the way things have gone in the past? Um, that comes with wanting it a certain way. Um, and that can sometimes detract from what's actually happening. Life never goes according to plan. So my offering for you this holiday season is hold gratitude in your heart for all the wonderful experiences you've had, the opportunities, the things you've seen, the people that are in your life. And let that wave of appreciation carry you through both the known and the unforeseen changes that are about to happen. Stay open and try to keep an open mind. One never knows what precious experiences are waiting around the corner for you. So whether you're celebrating Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, or the winter solstice, 
I am offering my blessings of peace and joy through the holidays. Thank you.